All right. Hey there, Rivet Athletes. Happy Thursday. We are doing some Tabata interval work today. Uh, if you're not familiar with a Tabata, Tabata is a work rest cycle of eight rounds of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. The whole thing lasts four minutes. The idea is you do as many as you can, as much work as you can inside the 20 seconds, rest for 10, and then keep repeating that. Um, the goal is to get as many reps as possible across the eight rounds inside each Tabata. Today we're doing four different body weight movements. We are doing some pull-ups, some sit-ups, some push-ups, and some air squats. Very good, well-balanced um, group of movements for a full body workout. We have some pushing, some pulling, some leg work, some core work in there. So. The way this works is doing a full Tabata of each movement before moving on to the next movement, if that makes sense. So first one is pull-ups or pulling uh, exercise, whichever version of this you're gonna do. You're doing a full eight round Tabata, four minutes of just that. And then you're immediately moving on to our uh, sit-ups. Same thing, you're doing a full eight round Tabata of sit-ups, immediately followed by a full Tabata of push-ups and then a full Tabata of air squats. There's no you know, uh, significant break in between the Tabatas. One just goes right into the next one. So going through the movements, uh, straight pull-ups. If you have a pull-up bar, great. Um, I do want you to use some kind of variation of the strict pull-up that allows you to get at least five reps per 20 seconds of work. So inside every 20 second interval, I want you to do something that has at least five reps. If you have a pull-up bar and you're doing strict pull-ups and you're only doing one or two, let's make it a little bit easier so you get a little bit more work in. Um, so these, of course, straight pull-ups can easily be substituted with ring rows or some kind of weighted row. I will demonstrate a couple of these for you in just a moment. Um, sit-ups after that, if you have an ab mat, great. If you do not, go ahead and just you know do regular old sit-ups on the floor. Something I like to try doing uh, is grabbing a pair of dumbbells and actually anchoring my toes underneath and I'm using that as kind of an anchor when I'm doing my sit-ups. I'll also show you that in just a second. Um, of course, if you don't have dumbbells, just plain old sit-ups on the floor, get them done. Uh, third movement is push-ups. This is a tough one for a lot of people. Um, pretty easy to have those muscles kind of burn out on you. Do as many push-ups as you can at the beginning of Tabata, just regular push-ups, feet on the floor, legs straight. If you need to transition to knee push-ups at some point, that's totally allowable. Another option, of course, is to raise those hands up off the ground. Um, uh, put them on top of a chair or a small table or a box or whatever you have at your house. Um, if the hands are up off the floor, it makes it a little more, a little less, I should say, body weight when you're pushing. And then our last movement will be air squats, finishing up with air squats for full Tabata there. Uh, so keeping track of your rounds, have a running count. Your score at the end of the workout today will be all the things that you did, all the reps of all the movements. So you can just have a continuous count starting with one on the pull-ups and finishing up on whatever number it is on the air squats, maybe write it down as you go. You will not get a lot of breaks. So make it quick if you are writing down numbers. Um, yeah, that's about it. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight rounds for each movement, four minutes each, 16 minutes for the entire workout. If you're using the Gym Next timer like we use at the gym, it's very handy. It has a Tabata timer built right in. Just uh, choose that for Tabata. Make sure you load up four Tabatas and then hit, hit the start button and go for it. All right, let me show you a couple movements. Okay, so pull-ups, obviously a pulling exercise. You may not have a pull-up bar. You may not be able to do pull-ups, either one. We have some substitutions. So we have uh, the weighted row, of course. Great exercise. You can use dumbbells. Goal here is to send those hips back, keep that back nice and flat, and then pull those weights up into the chest. Pull the elbow straight towards the ceiling. Two dumbbells. If you only have one dumbbell, no problem. Hold one dumbbell, two ends. Pull it right up into the chest. Pull, pull. This also works fine with a kettlebell, right? Two hands on the kettlebell, same idea. Another option, I know some of you have these uh, stretchy bands at home, stretchy bands. Um, if you have a bigger band, you can just use half of it. But uh, if you have a double band like this, go ahead and double it up. Put it underneath your feet so you're actually standing on the band and holding the two ends same idea pulling the hands up into the chest pull pull works really well make sure we're doing these to really kind of squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top okay 
And then, of course, for my friends out there with an odd object, exact same idea, odd object, right? Arms are full extension at the bottom. Just pull that weight up into the chest, your backpack or whatever you're using. Pull, pull, all right? And then sit-ups, I mentioned this earlier. If you have a couple weights, a couple dumbbells, this could also be a heavy kettlebell that you kind of hold between your shoes. But a good uh, option if you don't have an ab mat is to kind of anchor your feet down. So weight's on the floor, toes underneath. And then just use that as an anchor to pull yourself right back up. Remember with these, try to keep the back relatively straight, right? The less rounding, the better. So sit up tall, all the way down, all the way back up. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, push-ups. So push-ups, again, we are of course always looking for straight hips, straight knees, going all the way down to the floor and back up again, right? Straight up. If you need to, I don't have one right here, but if you have a short box or a chair or whatever, bring those hands up off the floor, it makes it a lot easier to do your push-ups, okay? Tabata something else for Tabatas, all body weight stuff. Get after it, guys. Have a great workout, and then I'll see you tomorrow.